current project we are working on is fireless malware detection tool building a fireless malware detection tool so project overview our project mainly aims to uh, to build a technological solution in the form of a desktop application which will be able to detect fireless malware in our mission so what is fireless malware fireless malware is a type of malicious software which enters into our computer without our intention and executes in our computer without our permission and and exploits our systems it, but it doesn't leave its traces on the files or in our disk it mainly resides in the memory of our system let's look at how does this infection happens the first step is delivery the attacker first looks for any vulnerabilities in our system and if he finds any one way the attacker tries to deliver the malware into our system so it may be done using social engineering and the second step is persistence after the malware enters our system it tries to maintain its persistence this can be done by making changes to the system registry and residing in the system the next step is exploitation so what that's its main function the malware has entered into our system to exploit our system so that will be done in the third step after maintaining its persistence and boom our system is infected by fileless malware what are its causes and effects of fileless malware causes why what allows this fileless malware into our system first is exploitation of vulnerabilities uh, so there are some vulnerable apps in our system which makes the attacker which helps the attacker to attack our system uh, such as powershell etc and the second one is social engineering this is mainly done by opening unknown emails and the third one is remote execution this is done by clicking on unknown links when surfing the web surfing through websites and the effects of fileless malware are they are stealthy and persistent and they evade they are uh, they cannot be detected using traditional methods so they evade the traditional methods like antivirus and data breaches So our approach is memory forensics. So, as the fileless malware recites its traces in the memory instead of disk and files, so we thought of analyzing the memory to detect fileless malware. So this is, uh, these are our tools and technologies. So first tool is dump it. So using dump it, we can extract the memory dump of the system at its current running state and analyze it in the further steps. And the second uh, and second tool is volatility. Volatility tool helps to analyze memory dumps and extract features from them. And the third tool is pi installer. This we'll be using after building our GUI. And the technologies are machine learning machine learning will be uh, you we use machine learning to analyze the data on already built in data set and the next one is aws aws is a cloud computing service which we will be using to build and deploy our apps in the cloud and the next technology is PyQt which is used to build GUI for our application. This is the process flow about how our application works. First, we will be building our ML model. So data set 
on the data set we will be building a model using random forest algorithm as we found random forest is having great accuracy and tpr when compared to other algorithms so we choose random forest for building our model next splitting our data set into train and test data and then train our model then test with this data so now our model is ready for predictions and then next step is memory dump extracting the memory dump and we will be analyzing the memory dump in virtual machine and extract the features from that memory dump and build a data frame using those features and send that features for prediction for the ml model which we have already built and that ml model will be detecting our memory dump as malware or benign and all these steps will be done in aws so aws as a service named ec2 where we will be building our virtual machines and using those for analyzing our memory dumps So our project timeline. These six weeks, we have worked on these topics, and we have further more weeks which we have to work on more uh, some other topics. So finally, the result and finding. So these six weeks, we are able to make a GUI using PyQt, and that GUI will be able to store the selected memory dump in S3 bucket. and next we are able to uh, detect the memory dump as malware or benign using volatility tool and the machine learning model so this we are able to do manually and we have to automate it so overall we are uh, enjoying working on this project and yeah in the next stage we are we will be working on differentiating uh, malware into file based malware or file less malware and hope we achieve that let's look at the gui which have built using pyqt so i have used pyqt for building gui and this is all the code i wrote and let's run it to get the gui Yeah, this is the GUI which I have built using PyQt. So it has two buttons. So we can insert memory dump for by using this button and analyze using this. So let's now insert a file. So basically, we will be inserting a memory dump using this button. But now the, it takes a much time. So let's insert a small file instead of a memory. small text file i'll be inserting small text file yeah let's insert this and what happens is this file gets yeah gets uploaded in the s3 bucket as shown here now it is uploaded successfully now let's check our s3 bucket Look, this is the VMEM file which I have already entered, uh, already inserted, and now yeah, this is the file which I have inserted now. Yeah. Now, if we click on analyze button, this will be the result. This is what we have to work on in the future, upcoming days. now let's see how that memory dump will be taken by the user it can be done using ftk image and using dump it so i will show you now with dump it so we have to install dump it in our windows so i'm using a virtual machine windows 7 for that because i'll be getting a small file so open the command prompt and get into the Path where we have the application 
and execute the line dump it dot exe and it will ask for permission click on yes yeah yes so now our dump is created so let's look yeah it is created in the same path our application is so let's look at its properties it is a dot raw file so this we will be using for analyzing so now we know how to extract the memory dump now let's see how to analyze the memory dump using volatility tool so I have installed volatility 2 and volatility 3 in a virtual machine Kali Linux and I wrote all the commands in a dot .sh, .sh file and after running all these commands I will be getting a text file This is the text file which I got after running those commands and this array we will be using for prediction using our ML model. Now I will show how I built the ML model. So this is the data set which I have used. These are just 5 rows but the data set which I gave has some 56,000 rows. So yeah, I have trained the model using that data set. So these are the columns in those data set and yeah. I use all the information I got and Here I have built the here I have built the model using random forest classifier and I have predicted on test data. So accuracy I got one and this is the importance of each column. Yeah, this this is what I got after analyzing the memory dumps. So after, this is the benign memory dump and I got predicted as benign and I have predicted on malware and it got predicted as malware and I have used again benign sample it got predicted as benign. So this is how our model predicts. Hope you like this video. Thank you.